that's something we've never done before. So, excited to try that out. Okay, go to the next one. What does that say? Net to, what's one letter we can change and come up with a spelling word? Wet, that's right. Hey, hey, y'all, <laughs> and good morning. I think today is going to be a day in the kitchen. That's that's how it's seeming, at least. I'm trimming up some chicken and putting it in the crock pot. This is the first thing we're going to be making together today. It's a crock pot chicken stuffing. This is one of our favorite meals. Huddy actually suggested this. He was sitting down with me while I was making the meal plan this past week, and I asked him, I said, what's your favorite thing that mama makes? And this is what he said. So we're having it tonight. Mama doesn't have spots. It could be a, it's the only. I think it's still oh, in the basement. That's an ostrich warp egg, I think. Which one? The speckledy one. The turkey one? No, I think that one in the middle of his hand is a turkey one. This one? Yep, that one's a turkey. And this one's an ostrich warp, I think. One black one. The boys are coming in with some eggs. They've been doing chicken chores. Uh, we're also going to make, I think we're going to try roasted radishes. That's something we've never done before. So, excited to try that out. And then we're going to make a brownie pie today, too. All kinds of all kinds of good things happening in, the, happening in the kitchen today. I've not made a brownie pie. That's probably my favorite dessert, and I've not made one in a while. So, we're going to do that today, too. Ethan's wanting to help. He's washing his hands. So I've got three chicken breasts in here. And I'm taking just a box of chicken stuffing mix. And we're going to sprinkle that over the top. Whoop, yeah. Keep it in the crock pot. Smells really like chicken stuffing. Is that good? Yep, very good. I lost the teeth. You sure did. Can I pour this? Please? You can. Huddy's going to help with our mixture for the top. We just got to mix a couple of things together. A can of cream of chicken soup. About eight ounces of sour cream. I don't think this one's all the way full, but it's close. We'll use what's left of it. And a splash of milk. Let's do this can first. Dump it in there. <laughs> All we've got left to do is put this on top of that stuffing mix and just kind of spread it out and put it on low all day long. That looks good. Remember, was it chicken stuffing that we were eating? Scrape it out and then you can spread it. That okay? we were eating at the. I'm going back for seconds. What? Why not? Yes. Just spread it out. Doing a good job. Are we going to spread it out? 
Are we done? Yeah, just spreading it out across the top. Uh oh. You don't have to be perfect. It will kind of melt down as it can. Turns out a little. You want to go? There you go. The best way to cook that is going to be on low all day long, six to eight hours. That's what we're going to do. You could probably cook it on high as well, two to four hours. It'll just depend on your crock pot. Just make sure your chicken gets cooked all the way through. And once it's done, we'll shred it up and it'll be ready for dinner. I think we're going to do I said, some roasted radishes and roasted potatoes to go with it. And I have some rolls. So looking forward to that tonight. It's also Halloween for us right now. So maybe I'll include some clips in this video of us taking the kids out tonight. The plan is to take them just to a couple places, some family, and maybe to a little trunk or treat thing they've got going on in the park. We'll see. We'll see what the day holds. Um, but we'll be back in a minute to make brownie pie. We've also gotten two Christmas cards in our P.O. box. Thank y'all so very much for sending those. If anybody else wants to send us one, our P.O. box is listed down in the description box. Absolutely made our day to get these cards. Thank y'all so much. There were also a couple of boxes of like the applesauce pouches that I like to get for the kids, especially Wyatt, but all the kids like them. There were two big boxes of those that were sent to our PO box as well, and it didn't say who they were from. So if it was from you, thank you. These are the eggs that the boys came in with this morning. Aren't they gorgeous? kind of got myself ready <laughs> for the day. Um, I had to go to the store because I was going to make a homemade pie crust and just, I ran out of time. So we went and got a pie crust. We're going to work on this brownie pie now, get it going. And then once it's finished, it'll be time to do like the finishing things for dinner tonight. Okay. I won't start without you. Here's a little peek at the recipe in case you want to screenshot that. Huddy's helping. He said, don't start without me. I'm going to make sure I've got everything out that we need, though. Get everything ready so we can mix it together. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Can you go grab on the bun? And welcome to our cooking show. Cooking, cooking with Tiffany and Huddy, where we make lots of messes. All right, so I need to cream this together. And I found my hand mixer, but I don't know where the beaters are that go in it. I can move it over to my KitchenAid, but I think we're just going to try with a fork, see if we can get it kind of mixed together. I may regret that. We may end up putting it in the KitchenAid anyway, but let's see what we can do.
Now normally I would not do this in a deep dish high crust. I would just do it in a regular, but I grabbed a deep dish, so we're gonna put it in here. It'll be okay. I have our potatoes and radishes ready to go in the oven to roast. I've just got some small gold potatoes and then I cut my radishes up. I'm thinking they'll cook about the same, be done about the same time. I hope so. We're going to find out. It's the first time we've ever done roasted radishes, so it's a learning experience. But I just have some olive oil, salt, pepper, and Cajun seasoning on them. Some Cajun two-step. And we're going to roast these until they're soft and dinner will be ready. I also just took a fork and shredded up the chicken and mixed the stuffing and the sauce and all that together and went ahead and turned this down to warm since it was done. 